Hey guys, it's me Drew and welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the thumbnail, and I'll show you here, my empties bin is overflowing with goodies that I finished since the last video. I even have things outside of the basket. That's how many things I have. Now, let's just first get into, yes, I know I haven't been here for a while. I don't want to harp on things that are sad, so I'll just let you know. If you follow me on Facebook or anything in social media, my friend went into the hospital with complications from COVID-19. Unfortunately, she passed away. This morning was her funeral. That chapter is over, unfortunately. Um, it's really sad, so I'm not, I, I don't want to get emotional. But, um, yeah, so. She's gone. Um, and that's it. And that's why, you know, people who don't think it's real, it's real people. It's my first person that, like, ever was really close to me. I mean, I talk to her every day. Loved her. We went to dinner. We hung out all the time. Like, she was like family. But anyway. Oh, before I, like, get super emotional, let's just talk about the wax. So I have a mixture of wax, a couple beauty products, you know the drill. So let's first start off with some candles. The first candle I finished is from Yankee Candle. This is Honey Clementine. I got this from an outlet. I love this scent. And it was like dirt cheap at the outlet. Unfortunately, I left it burning for a little too long the last time. The wick separated really close to the glass. So at this point, it's done. I'll pop it on a candle warmer to get that, that last bit of wax um, melted out. Or I might even just throw this in the freezer, pop it out and melt it. But I love Honey Clementine. It's just the right amount of sweetness on this really juicy, fresh clementine with the honey. It's such a good scent, and I love how realistic it smells. And no matter how you, how many times you smell it, in my opinion, you can never get enough of it. I finished... Let's do these guys together. But before we do that, I have a Homeworks candle. I know, throwback, right? A Homeworks candle. This is in Wild Crimson Current. The notes are red currants, Turkish rose petals, pink lady apple, and patchouli. This is one of the four wicks. It did burn really well. Oh, the scent was just disgusting. And I love roses. It has to be the red currant. I don't think it was the patchouli, because I actually don't mind patchouli, but that red currant note in this... Mm, it was so funky. I, I I did not like it. It was like, it was gross. I finished a hand soap, and this is in the Gentle and Clean line from Bath and Body Works. I actually really like the Gentle and Clean line. They're really creamy, foamy scents, or foamy soaps, and the scent is Redwood Apple. This was Sweet Cinnamon, a Sweet Apple, and a hint of Citrus. I really like it. It was definitely that, like, quintessential apple cinnamon type of scent but I loved it in the soap it was like perfect for this time of year um where do I even go I guess we'll finish some bath and body products I finished a sweet cinnamon pumpkin shower gel love this scent I buy one every year I couldn't use it outside of the season though it's like that cinnamon stick pumpkin and it's heirloom pumpkin autumn cinnamon ginger snap and whipped vanilla love this I feel like that's a classic scent everybody loves and you know Bath & Body Works body products are not the best body products, but I do love their shower gels. I'm just trying to reorganize this a little bit because, oh my god, there's so much. Okay, I finished from one of my friend's candle companies, 1820. I talk about 1820 House a lot on this channel, not as much as I'd love to. With the pandemic, I like to visit her. She lives in Ohio. It's not super far from here. Her candles are amazing. I love the performance, I love the burn, and this was Palo Santo and Pumpkin, and I knew I had to try this one. It's so good. It's that it's that warm, woody, slightly perfumey Palo Santo blended with a warm, creamy pumpkin. Mm, it's like perfect for fall, and I love these jars. I actually save all of her. This is her B Elixirs line, which is like a more natural line. I actually save all of these jars as like drinking glasses. Love those. I finished, mm, <clears throat> let's try to pull this out of here. I finished Crisp Campfire Apples from Yankee Candle. Again, just like the other Yankee Candle jar, the flames got so high, I do not understand. No matter how much I trimmed it, the flames just never, never got, you know, to a normal length. I don't understand. 
and I could barely smell it. It was like, the scent itself is really good. It's like a smoky, really fresh apple. But I will say, even like in the picture, you can smell the rind of the apple in the scent, which I really loved. I just wish that it burned better. It, it did not perform well at all. Now we'll talk about, do I have all three of these right here in front of me? Yep. I finished three Bath and Body Works Halloween candles. The first one is Vampire Blood. This was actually my friend who passed away's favorite candle in the world. She would buy it every year. Um, it's at my annual sale, like stock up. And like we were talking about, oh, now that, you know, I work for them, like you have to come on the first day of semi annual sale. But anyway, Vampire Blood is Blood Red Strawberry, Midnight Blooming Jasmine, Dark Transylvania Plum. It's not my favorite scent, but I will now burn one every single year in memory of Kathy. She actually passed away on October 30th, too, which is kind of ironic the day before Halloween, which was her favorite holiday. Yeah, but like I said, it's like a... It's like a fake strawberry scent. Not my favorite scent, but memories of her. Pumpkin carving. I love pumpkin carving. This is freshly carved pumpkin, spiced pumpkin seeds, and smooth brown sugar. This is what Bath & Body Works Slack Kid & Company used to be pumpkin patch. It's like the best pumpkin scent. I love a true-to-life pumpkin scent. Not all the, like, pumpkin cupcake, pumpkin baked goods, pumpkin cinnamon bun. Like, all those pumpkin scents do not smell like a true pumpkin to me. I want true pumpkin. And when I forgot, like, as I'm talking about the pumpkin scents in November, the elephant in the room. Yeah, I couldn't wait. Anyway, love pumpkin carving. And then the last Halloween candle that I finished from Bath & Body Works is Wicked Apple. This one... Ghostly Green Apple, Creamy Caramel Drizzle, and Vicious Vanilla Bean. The car- okay, I love Cider Lane. I love that ooey-gooey, creamy, super sweet caramel scent. This had that super sweet caramel scent, but to me it was almost like fake. Like, I don't know. It was like, this tried to be Cider Lane, but nothing will ever be Cider Lane. And the, the caramel in it was just way too much for me. I, I was not a fan. Another candle that I was super excited to get rid of is the Veluspa's Spiced Pumpkin Latte Candle. This is two years old. I got it last um, Christmas, or two, Christmas, fall, two falls ago. And the, no, no, no scent. I mean... Even what I'm smelling in the jar is barely anything. It's like a basic, basic pumpkin scent. I love the jar, though. I am going to save it. Orange is my favorite color. This label will pop right off, and then the wax will come out. There's no suction either on the lids, which isn't a big deal, but it, like, rattles around. It's annoying. But, uh, yeah, Veluspa candles just do not perform for me, and uh, I don't like buying candles that don't perform, so I don't really plan on buying any more of those. Let's see here. Do I have any more candles in here? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Okay, again, you should not be burning your candles this long. I do. Don't don't go by me. This is a Candles by Victoria bowl candle. If you can see, like, you should stop the candle about right to here. I let it burn until there was nothing left, but I kept an eye on it, kept the wicks trimmed. And when you're burning a candle all the way down to the bottom like this, there's going to be a little bit of soot. Nothing crazy. See, just that little bit right here. That's my fault because I left it burn way too long. But this was in a create a scent that I created in Leaves Are Falling, Autumn Is Calling. And now that I'm smelling, it's, oh, it's her Leaves Tight, which is like the Bath and Body Works candle. And Pumpkin Pickin', I want to say. Just like a creamy pumpkin. I loved the scent. This was a three-wick bowl candle. It threw like mad. Never have a problem with candles by Victoria's Candles performing. The burns, nothing. They burn flawlessly. They burn literally all the way down to the bottom. The throw's great. Just make sure you keep your wicks trimmed and you won't have any issues. I think that's it for the candles, unless I find another one. So let's talk about 
some randomness. The first thing is super random. It is a Lamp Berger lamp oil. I don't think I've ever shared this on my channel. I know I've shared it on my TikTok. Lamp Berger are these little fragrance lamps. If you want a video on them, let me know. And they were essentially designed in France hundreds of years ago to purify um, hospital rooms. And Lamp Berger created a... Um, like an everyday like consumer use one where you buy a beautiful glass lamp whatever you know design you want it's like a big it's like a diffuser essentially and then you buy the oil you pour it in about three quarters of the way drop the cotton wick in and light the catalytic converter for two minutes after the two minutes blow it out put the diffuser on top and it literally purifies the air as well as scents it so to me once i'm done cleaning anything like that i like to use the lamp berger lamp or if i have company coming over and i do have cats i do melt a lot i do burn a lot but sometimes i mean there's still a cat smell that i might not smell so if i have company coming over and i don't want my apartment to smell like cat i will um pop the Lamp Berger lamp oil in and this typically lasts me about three refills love them love them love them love them and this was in velvety suede which is literally a dupe for the Santal 33 from Le Labo it smells exactly like it oh, and alcohol I mean this is like pure alcohol um, and do not use if you buy a lamp do not use like just like rubbing alcohol in it it's totally different it's an it's a specially designed made in France oil and like I said, I love these. I always have one on hand, and now I have like a Fraser Fir one for Christmas. And they're strong. Like if you want a strong scent, you guys, Lamp Berger Lamps. I finished a random face wash from Herbivore Botanicals. I finished the Pink Cloud Cleanser. I feel like this little skinny bottle took me forever. I wash my face twice a day. I talk about skincare sometimes on this channel. Skincare for me, sometimes it's like I'm either really into it or I'm really out of it and just like I, I always wash my face twice a day I always take care of my skin but sometimes I'm like always buying new stuff and always trying new stuff and then I'm like I get into a routine I find what I like and I just stick with it so right now I'm working on like using through a lot of my cleansers I finally found a line that I really like I'll talk about it you know in future videos once I'm really into my routine but this is the Pink Cloud Cleanser. I like it. It's like a really jellied, rich cleanser. Two pumps wash my face, and I feel like, like I said, this lasted forever. I really like it. Um, yeah. So I'm just working on cleansers. Now this. It's a very controversial brand of hair care. People always wonder, how does my hair look so vibrant, look so healthy by getting bleached and colored? For four years, I've used nothing but when I discovered when when I was with Harry Slatkin on QVC I discovered it before that but I really dove into it when I was at QVC and I fell in love with when and now nothing touches my hair but when I love it I, I do use styling products from other companies but as far as like the cleansers and the hydrators and the finishers, it's all when. I use the oils, I use the, the re-moist masks, I use the cleansing conditioners. I love that they have scents that are like, for me, like right now I have three in my shower, fall ginger pumpkin, fall tuscan pear, and fall plum pear that I alternate like every other time I wash my hair. Now that I use when, I probably cleanse my hair twice a week. I used to wash it every day. A part of it is like the purple, but it stays healthy. And when my hairdresser washes my hair, she's like, oh my god, like your hair is so healthy. It's the when. I understand there's controversies that it makes your hair fall out and that scares people. Those never really went further because those were false. And people like to see people being successful and they want to tear them down. That's what I'll say. But anyway, this is the Bella Spirit line from When by Chaz Deem. It's a much more like high-end, like the Rolls Royce of his cleansing conditioners. And this is just the plain one. I also have the purple one still in my shower, the toning cleansing conditioner. It's purple. It, no, it doesn't make my hair purple. It just makes like gets rid of the brassiness and keeps it like photo ready all the time. But anyway, love when, love the cleansing conditioners. Always have when in my shower. All right, let's talk about some wax, shall we? So right on the top are Scentsy bars. I went through quite a bit because my Scentsy collection, I'm trying to find all of them. 
that I melted. It should probably be in there somewhere still. Is this one? Nope. I'll find it. But anyway, I'm trying to get through my Scentsy collection. I have way too much. And like Charity pointed out in her video, their wax doesn't last. Like when you open some bars now, the like oil is like all on the top and I'm not a fan of that. I just got my club in and I'm like, ugh. I love the warmers, don't get me wrong. The wax though, their wax is very mediocre. Um, I like vendor wax, but anyway. I also have to go through three bars to finally get like a true scent. I know like I think last time I said like two bars. I've done a lot of experimenting, it's three. I have to go through three full bars to truly get a, a scent like I want from wax. And all right, yes, a bar is $6. If you do a bundle and save, it's five. If you buy like an average amount of wax like we do, like a little over average amount of wax shipping, it makes the bars like seven fifty to eight dollars. So right here, it's twenty four dollars for a day. Twenty four dollars for a day of wax. It's very expensive. So compared to vendor wax, Scentsy is just not where it's at for me. I don't know. It's just it's too expensive, and I just find better scents other places. So the first three bars that I went through is in Scary Good, which was the scent of the month for September. It's like a butterscotch pumpkin. To me, it's just a very basic spicy pumpkin scent. Like, nothing to write home about. I don't really smell butterscotch. I just smell like a cinnamon pumpkin scent. I'm trying to decide where I'm going to put all these. Here we go. The next one that I finished. One, two. Oh, I know what I did. I only... Nope, this isn't it. Oh, my God. Nope, that's not it either. Oh, boy. Where is that bar here it is all right so i only had two bars of jack's obsession left which is like a cinnamony spicy apple they're different labels because they did like this really cool different label collection so i mixed it with the disney villains collection evil queen just one bite and yeah this is like a cinnamon apple scent and this it's like a cinnamon green apple scent. So I figured the two green apples with one Mac apple give me like, you know, a really good like, you know, fun apple cinnamon scent, but nothing to write home about. I also popped this scent through my whole apartment and my bathroom just to get rid of it because I had one left, one bar left, and this is Halloween Town. It's the other Nightmare Before Christmas warmer or scent. This is weird. It's like, it's like a smoked scent, but it kind of has like a like a crisp air scent too. It's like smoky, outdoorsy, woody, and then like an outdoorsy, and then a little bit of sweetness. Not really sure what the description is. Look how yellow the plastic was. But not really sure exactly what that was. It's nice. I like it. This was a super big womp womp. This is Graham Cracker Crunch. I melted three bars of this in my apartment, and I love peanut butter scents. I was so excited when I got this. It really didn't throw. Like, it, it threw. I did this yesterday, but, I mean, it maybe lasted two hours, and it wasn't super strong like I thought it would. And I love peanut butter scents. And it is, it's like a peanut butter scent, but it has a little bit of, like, that baked, like, like it says, like, crunch, like the topping of, like, a peanut butter pie. I love the scent, wish it was stronger, but now that Vendor Wax is doing a lot of peanut butter, it's fine. I can get it from Vendor Wax. Same with getting a dupe somewhere else. These are Autumn Road Trip, and this is the dupe for Bath & Body Works Autumn. I love this scent. This is like eucalyptus, fir balsam, apple, and fig. Maybe I said fig already. I don't know, but oh, it's so good. It's sweet, it's earthy, it's super strong too, and these are great performers. So I actually burned, why well, you don't see it in an empties video because it's not completely empty yet, is the Autumn Candle from Bath & Body Works. Love that scent, love, love, love. I should have three bars of this, it's missing somewhere. Pumpkin Chai, and like I said, I mean this is one, two, three, four, five, five days worth of wax. And I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 18 bars. I mean, that's like 30, 60, 
not like ninety dollars worth of wax. It's a lot of money. Uh pumpkin chai is good. It definitely has that chai tea note, like that, like that cinnamon nutmeg type of vibe mixed with the pumpkin. I do really care for it, but again, nothing to write home about. Around the campfire, also a really good one. This is like a very smoky, heavy version of Marshmallow Fireside. If you like Marshmallow Fireside, you might like Around the Campfire. It's definitely more rich on the smoky scent, and this scent will blow you whoop, blow you out of the house. This is a powerhouse. I mean, I could probably use one bar throughout my whole apartment and get the same performance as like 12, but I just used a bunch of them just to use them up. They're probably buried in here somewhere. I think this is one of them right here. Maybe not. Oh, and then I have a bar of Luna, just one bar. And the reason I only have one bar is because I use this in my bathroom. I use three cubes at a time in my bathroom. Luna's great. It's a super sweet, super sweet floral, almost like baby time. And I love this in my bathroom. It just relaxes me. When I wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom and I smell it, it just, mm, it's just so pleasant. Vendor Wax now has dupes for Luna, so I can get it much cheaper, which makes me happy. All right, and then, oh, here's another around the campfire. I knew I would find that here. Oh my goodness, so much wax. I finished, oh, let's talk about an L3 scoopable. Pumpkin pretzel. Now, I remember watching Danny's video about pretzel and how it's such a different pretzel than a lot of other vendors. It's a much more yeasty pretzel, and I do not like it. However, I pop this in my warmers, guys. I think I like L3's pretzel. I know, crazy. I this was I got this in the mail on June fifth. I put like a little unarrived on day, and oh my god, the pretzel mixed with the pumpkin. It is salty. It is yeasty. However. It's kind of like you baked the pretzel when you put it in your warmers. I went through half a scoop in all my warmers. I just used a tiny bit. And oh my god, it was like a pretzel factory up here in Drew's apartment. I loved, loved, loved this scent. I'm going to try it next time she offers it in Lowe's to see if it still gets a good performance. I love scoops. Do not get me wrong. I love the performance. I'm a freezer guy. I finally found, like, I'm a freezer guy when it comes to my wax and getting them out of the warmers. You can't freeze scoops. No matter how much you try, you have to cotton ball or hot dump scoopable wax or else it doesn't work. So, I have a ton of scoopable wax. I just, oh my god, I like can't get enough of it now that I smell it. It's like that saltiness is literally addicting even when you smell it. Just as much as salt is addicting when you taste it, just as more addicting as when you smell it. Oh, so good. Um, but, like, El, um, Zape just had her huge, um, Christmas thing, her Christmas restock, and I placed an order, and I got all shapes. Like, I love her scoops, but I'm just such a freezer person when it comes to, um, removing my wax, I wasn't even messing with it. I finished a clam from Super Tarts. This is in Ruby Slippers. It's strawberry, vanilla cream, sugary milk, and pound cake. It's that sugar milk scent that I just do not care for. It's that, like sour milk vibe that you get from sugar milk. The strawberry's great, the pound cake's great, but that sugar milk came through a lot whenever um, whenever you melted it. And I do not understand like why her clams are the only clams I've ever gotten that over time squish on the bottom. It's kind of irritating because I mean, I do believe that on her was it's like luxury wax. Yeah, the wax might be luxury, but the clamshells certainly are not. I don't know. I'm not negative, Nelly. There's a lot of stuff in here that I really do like. I mean, like that L3 pumpkin pretzel. I just don't like the idea of that my clamshells squish. And this was only July. So, I don't know. All right. I have a ton. Oh, there's a ton of bags, but I did just buy a few more candles. First candle. Well, not the first candle, but you know what I mean. The other candle that I found is Caramel Pumpkin Swirl in this hideous packaging that's a wicked term for you hideous but um i hate the packaging on this caramel pumpkin swirl 
<laughs> Luscious caramel, ground cinnamon, rich brown sugar, and creamy vanilla. So, no pumpkin. This was such a blender scent to me. It's just like a basic caramel scent. Not really, like, cinnamon. I don't know. I wanted to buy one because I never burned it before, and people buy it all the time. I don't know why. It's pretty basic. Oh! This is just an empty bowl. Let's see. Mm, maybe that was the only candle left. Yeah. It looks like that was the other candle. I thought there was more. Oh! I did finish another soap, Cotton and Freesia. This was nice. It's soft cotton, jasmine, and fresh woods. Just like that. Just like a fresh, soapy, like, clean cotton scent. I liked it. It was in my kitchen. I finished a scoop from Zape in Blankets by the Fire, which is Chunky Wool Blankets, Charred Pine, and Balsam. I think I ordered this in Brittle um, on her last order. She did just have her Christmas restock. Love it. Love Zape. I'll put my referral link to below so you get uh, $5 off your order. And such a good scent. It's like, it's like a fresh blanket, but not laundry. Like, like a warm, warm blanket scent. Like cozy, creamy, soft, mixed with that Christmas tree. Mm, it's so good. I love that scent. Let's just dive into some bags, all right? Let's see. Zape. This was a um, waffle in Monster Mash. And this one is sweet potatoes, well, monster sweet potatoes, brown sugar, and a hint of fall spice. Love this. I chopped the entire waffle up and popped it in all of my warmers. You really got the sweet potato, which I thought was really cool. It was like fresh like warm you know whenever you make sweet potatoes and you cut them and they literally just start to get stringy because they're so soft and moist that's what this smells like with brown sugar and spice i mean it literally smelled like thanksgiving love i finished from destination wax one of her breakaway bars in cider lane this is my kryptonite it is sweet green apple cider lightly spiced with a hint of caramel I love this scent. This is true, authentic Cider Lane. I actually just chopped up a Cider Lane from another vendor, um, L3. You guys know her her Cider Lane. I don't know where she got the Cider Lane oil from, but it's not Cider Lane. Um, oh, I love this scent. It's like I said, the most creamy, caramelly apple scent you've ever smelled in your life. It's to die for. From Rose Girls, I actually... Okay, so Rose Girls, I did a lot, I had a lot from a friend of like half chunk muffins in all the like cookie land type of blends. So I actually just popped them in all of my warmers and I had like the best combo cookie lands in the world. This is my all time favorite of her cookie lands. This is making bread in cookie land, which is fresh baked bread, baked zucchini bread, cookies, donuts, and toffee butterscotch pretzels. I love it this scent you guys the fresh baked bread mixing with like the richness of the cookies the saltiness of the toffee butterscotch pretzels it's so good such a good blend i do think i'm really gonna like the christmas even cookie land too i did order that in mini melters i also ordered a half pie of it from her restock or from her pre-order her mario pre-order i also finished blankets from the Blankets by the Fire in Brittles from Zape in like solid wax form instead of scoops. So chunky wool blankets, charred pine, and balsam. Love that. Pharmacist Daughter. This is R.I.P. This is Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread, Funnel Cake, and Jelly Donut. If you see, I actually... Can you see it here somewhere? I think it's right here. Where is it? Oh, it's behind the snowman. It's like I bought a couple um, hotter warmers because Scentsy warmers just don't perform all my wax. And I know Pharmacist Daughter is good to melt in hotter warmers. I still didn't get a throw from it. Blackberry jam, zucchini bread, funnel cake, and jelly donut. Worked through my stash on that. Vanilla birch in puppy packs from L3. Love this scent. It's a scent that like every time I melt it, I enjoy it. But I never, like, go out of my way to buy it. I think this was, like, a, a mystery box or something. 
it's a good scent. It's like, it's the Bath and Body Works dupe of Vanilla Birch. It's like a very, very woody vanilla. It's hard to describe unless you've smelled it. Ooh, I finished a whole loaf in Ants Jam filled jelly rolls. Love this scent. Strawberry jam, fresh picked strawberries, custardy cream, and delicious yellow cake. Like, this scent is one of my all-time favorite, favorite scents. I finished another loaf from L3 in Boardwalk Taffy Type. This is actually the first loaf I ever purchased from L3. This actually came on June 5th. And this is the dupe from Bath & Butterworks Boardwalk Taffy. It's so good. It's like sweet. Like you literally got saltwater taffy from the boardwalk. But it's not like super crazy salty. It's just the right amount. It's super authentic to um, saltwater taffy. This is also what I melted from Rose Girls in that Cookie Land day. Plain Old Cookie Land. It's not called Plain Old Cookie Land. It's called Cookie Land. And that's confetti cake, toffee butterscotch pretzels, and cookies. So she takes that Cookie Land and blends it with a lot of other things. So good. On its own, you definitely smell the toffee butterscotch pretzels the most. Which is like a super salty, sweet bakery scent. Delish. And then we have Strawberry Cookie Land, which is her Cookie Land mixed with Strawberry Pound Cake. This was my least favorite. I like Strawberry Pound Cake, but now that I've discovered, like, Strawberry Jam, and, like, that's my strawberry. Insane. I'm actually going to do a mix of Destination Wax Strawberry Seeds and um, Rose Girls Cookie Land. I think that's going to be amazing. Ooh, I finished an oldie, 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 but a goodie on Halloween night in my warmer next to my bed. This is from 2018 from Vintage Chic Sense. It actually doesn't even have a VCS label on it, but this is the Warren's Is It Cookie Monster. Cookie Monster is one of her house blends that's like creamy cookies blended with the Warren's, which is like her Cider Lane scent that's homemade. That's so good. Oh, you want to talk about a scent that lasts for days? Rose Jam Palo Santo Toasted Mallow from L3. This was a puppy pack. Holy moly, you guys. This lasted forever. I put two cubes of this, like two shapes, in my bathroom. Three days. 24-7. And it's the Rose Jam. It has to be. Because I haven't really melted a ton of Rose Jam from Vendor Wax. And I love Rose Jam. It's like a super sweet rose, rose bubble gum and lemon. It's a lush scent. Oh my god. Blended with Palo Santo. Mm, I need a loaf in that for sure. Love that. Powerhouse. Hermione. Now this I really wanted to get because of Lori Brown. She raves about this scent. Orange cranberry muffins and a hint of books. I don't know if this was just mislabeled or what. It smells like, like fresh laundry to me. Like, when I hear orange cranberry muffin, I think of, like, a baked, like, delicious yellowy, cake, yellow muffin. Not yellow muffin, but you know what I mean? Like a cakey muffin with fresh orange and cranberry. Unless the books is laundry, which I know it's not, this literally just smelled like a laundry scent to me. I don't know. Ooh, I finished another puppy pack from L3. I was working through the L3. This is Fig Tree, Tayberry Teakwood, and Palo Santo. This I also did in the bathroom. It's nice. I wish I got more fig. I feel like I got a lot of the Tayberry and Teakwood. Um, I wish I would have got more Fig Tree and Palo Santo. I actually, now that I see Palo Santo on here and Fig Tree, my customs list is not complete yet. I haven't been called yet, but... I'm thinking about a Fig and a Palo Santo blend in my head now. Ooh, another oldie from Vintage Chic Scents. This is from 2020. It's old, not really, but this is Aunt Nellie's Zucchini Supreme, which is pumpkin pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and zucchini bread. Catherine King, if you've tried this, you know it's amazing. Zucchini bread, sugar cookie dough, and pumpkin pecan waffles. How could you go wrong? Rich, homemade, delicious, creamy zucchini bread with the richness of pumpkin pecan waffles. Destination Wax Banana Walnut Tort. Layers of lightly spiced banana cake, creamy banana custard, and chopped walnuts. I melted through this breakaway bar because I have a whole loaf of it. This is like the best. Now, 
I will say it's not a knock you in your face scent. This was a background scent. It was kind of like you just pulled this amazing banana bread out of your oven about an hour ago, set it on the stove, and you had company coming over, and like they walk by the kitchen, they're like, is that banana bread? Like that's what this smelled like through my whole apartment. It wasn't like knock you in the face strong. It was like a background scent. And I, oh, I loved it. And I think it's because it's like not crazy artificial like Laffy Taffy banana. Rose Girls, when did I melt this? Oh, I melted this next to my bed one night. This was wild. Sugar cookie dough, cream cheese frosting, waffle cone, Monster Cookies, Royal Sugar Cookies. It literally doesn't even have a name. It's just like, any blender that you can pick, let's blend it. I couldn't really detect what it was. It was just like a creamy bakery scent. Way too much for me. Purple Haze from Vintage Chic Scents. This is Jelly Glazed Donuts, Gooey Marshmallows, and Zucchini Bread. Love this. Mm-mm-mm. I love jelly donut scents. I love anything jammy, jelly, mixed with zucchini bread, and then the creaminess of the marshmallow. That's a classic from her. The Pharmacist Daughter Beans and Cream, Coffee House, Marshmallow, Sweet and Creamy, Coconut Shortbread Cookies. This was a souffle. Okay. Tie me to the porch. Like, you know, do what you want with me. I will say this was good. The camera even cut me off because it couldn't believe that I was saying that. This is good. It's a good scent. It's like, it was good, but I wouldn't repurchase from them. Um, and then I have Dutch Apple Pecan French Toast from Rose Girls, Warm Dutch Apple Pie, Pecans and French Toast. This is such a good one. I have like four more muffins. Oh, it's like, you definitely pick up on the apple pie and the French toast. To me, the pecans are in the background, but mmm, apple pie and French toast blended together, delish. And then I have a few, last but not least, Yankee Candle, little um, tarts. I got no throw from any of these in my hot plate warmer, but Warm Lux Cashmere, Pink Sands, Sun Drenched Apricot Rose, Blush Bouquet. I didn't get any throw at all from that. And then last but not least, a scent shot from Candles by Victoria in Banana Pancake. This blew my socks off, cut this in half, put it in two, and you can literally see my half cut mark. You see it? You see it? There, boom. Cut it in half, popped one half in each of my warmers the entire day. Amazing, amazing banana bakery scent. Oh my god, it smells so good. And besides those ones that I just talked about in there... Oh. I also finished that Wicked Apple in a Wallflower. This bin is empty. So, now what I do, like always, I pop them in the bin. Boom. 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 Throw them in the recycling bin and start melting again. I hope you guys have an amazing November. I have so many videos to share with you guys. I have hauls, I have reviews, I have favorites, I have a holiday gift guide that I have been working on. I have a lot of exciting videos to share with you guys. So make sure you are subscribed, hit that little notification in the bell, no, in that notification bell in the corner, so that way you stay alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. I'll talk to you guys soon. Be kind to one another, and I love you. Have a good night. Bye.